In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a CSS uh, wrapping effect. You can see here at the corners of this header, it uh, looks like I made it with CSS the illusion that is wrapping around the entire container. A couple uh, websites that I've come across in my daily web uh, surfing use, uh, uses this effect. You can see on TMZ, they use it here and here. And also, CNET.com, I think, was one of the first sites I've actually noticed it, which is the place it right here, and also here at the bottom of the page. So let's get into uh, making this. Okay, uh, here I got an H1 tag that's going to say CSS wrapper effect and we're going to add two spans to it okay so the first span we give this a class of corner one we're going to put nothing inside the span and we're going to set up another span of the class of corner two again nothing inside the span okay just got some simple stylings for the container, the H1 tags, and then for the uh, background for the uh, body. No need to go over that. Okay, so let's start styling the H1 tag. I'm going to set this position to relative. I give it a background color of a light blue. text color white and let's see what we have so far open up and close out all these I need to have these up okay so this is what we have so far now we're going to want to push this to the left a few pixels and push that to the right. So let's do um, margin left, say minus 11 pixels, and the margin right, the same amount. Save that. Okay, so now we're going to have to fill in the corners, the bottom corners right here. So we're going to make a CSS uh, shape to do this. Okay, so we're going to do corner one, set the position to absolute, set the height to zero width to zero now to make shapes we're going to use the borders I've showed uh, how to do this also in a previous tutorial using making C, uh, CSS speech bubbles so it's pretty much the same thing with just uh, a little difference in positioning okay so let's do this uh, border left 10 pixels solid and this one we want a dark blue border right none border bottom 10 pixels solid transparent Again, we're setting this to transparent, so that say if I was to set this to white, you see right here, this is uh, the bottom part would be white, and the background has a different color, 
and since like sometimes you if you're doing this for a client you might not know the, uh, at the time what uh, background color they're going to be uh, using or you might want to make it set so that no matter the background color that, that they're going to be using it's always going to be able to show through and the transparent property works in every browser that I've come across even IE7 so we're going to be using transparent And then we're going to position the bottom to minus 10 pixels. And we're going to set it to the left, zero. Save that. Go back into Chrome. There you go. Oh, let's change this a bit. Change this to right. And this to the left. There you go. Now it's for the second one, it's exactly the same thing. So let's just do corner two. We can copy this. Change uh, the left to right. Change this to left, change this to right, save, refresh, there you go. Now, <laughs> now you have a nice wrapping effect, so it gives it the appearance that the whole entire wrapper wraps around the whole container. Of course, you know you can go ahead and add some more um, CSS uh, stylings, like you can go WebKit uh, box, give it a box shadow. I'm only going to do the WebKit one just because, just for this, so zero to five pixels. Go to all black. So you, you know, style it up even more. You can add a gradient, give it some padding, stuff like that. But that's a quick way on making a CSS wrapper without images. Thanks.